Since getting the new Nexus 5X device, I've been noticing some unexpected features when using the Camera 2 API application. So this tutorial is going to be about resolving those features. Welcome to Mobile Application Tutorials, my name's Nigel. Okay, so we've got some unexpected features in our Camera 2 API application, so let's go and fix them. Okay, so if we go to my website here, I've actually listed the features I want to resolve. So the first one is create the image file after the camera has gained focus lock. So this use we're seeing here is um, sometimes if the camera doesn't get focus lock, it won't go into the capture, capture session, so no picture will be taken. But we've already created a file for that. So unfortunately, once we've created the file, um, if we don't assign an image to that file, it's just like an empty null file, and it's causing, um, it can cause a null exception when using the um, Recycle View image gallery built into the Camera 2 API application. So let, let's resolve that. Okay, so at the moment, if we go into take photo method, here we can see where we're creating our file. So we need to move that into a position that um, gets called after we've got the focus. So first of all, let's cut this code. And let me go down to the bottom of the file. In the camera still image method, we actually create a camera capture session callback here. And so what we want to do is override one of those methods as such. And I want to override the on capture started method here. So this is actually a good position. We would have actually got focus here. We're starting to catch the image. So this is probably a good place for us to create our file. Let's paste in the code here. Okay, so I, that's all we need to do for creating our file after um, the, focus, the camera focus has taken place. The next th thing here is we want to create a another member for our state machine and basically it's a state picture captured. Um, basically if we don't put in the state we could we're going to be taking a number of pictures before we capture one so we just want to s capture the first focused image as such so we're going to enter this here. I might just copy this line here just for speed. Now if we go back into Android Studio. And I just want to find out where my state variables are. Here we are. So let's just create that one under here. Now we want to insert that. So if we go to where we call wait lock this is where we get the focus here. So if I just, so we set the M state. State pitch captured. Okay, so once this is set, this is gonna allow us to take the one image. If not, we would keep going into state lock and we could capture a number of images unnecessary and putting an extra load on the application itself. What's next? Okay, we want to swap the recycler image adapter after the image has been saved. So what's happening is, if I go into the code here, we go back down to the bottom here. So once on capture completed has been called, we're actually calling swap image adapter here. But at this stage, we actually haven't written the image to the file. And so basically, we might not have an image ready 
to reload the adapter. So we need to call the swap adapter once the file has been, once the image has been written to the file. So we can delete this line here first. And first thing we're going to do is create a handler. And let me just search for where. So we've got one handler here. I'm just going to create another handler underneath that. And let me call it MUI handler, handler for the UI. And we're going to initialize create it here. And we're going to use the main looper here, which is for the UI thread. Okay, I'm going to override one of the methods in this handler, which would be handle message. And underneath here, I can just call my swap image adapter as such. Okay, next thing I want to do is I need to pass this handler into our runnable. So down here is our runnable, our uh, image saver runnable. So let's pass our UI handler in there. And now we need to go into the constructor just to add support for the handler. So first of all, just let me create another hand, uh, member hand, uh, member variable inside this runnable. Let's call it M handler. And now let's provide the handler inside the constructor argument. Now let's initialize the member handler as such. Okay, so now we've got the handler available. So we want to call it, and a good position to call it is after we've written the, uh, the image to the file. And so the image to the file gets happens here. So we want to, a good place to actually call our handler will be in the final, final part there. So let me, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to create a message just to send back to our UI thread just to call that handle message to swap the image adapter. Okay, so create a message. And we've got the handler, we've got the M handler here to obtain a message. Now we can just post the message, send the message to the target. Okay, so the code's now in place for us to notify the UI thread once we've written the file, once we've written, written the image to the file, we can then swap our image adapter to update the image gallery running with the camera application. Okay, so what's next? So we've done this part here. Okay, it says here we need to cancel the capture session repeating requests once the camera is ready to be captured. So we've got a number of requests happening um, in the preview and once we're ready to capture an image, let's cancel any pending or uh, requests as such. So let's go into the code. So here is where we do the capture. But we can catch it, we can cancel any um, pending requests just by calling this stop repeating requests as such. Again, we're going to take off load on the application, hopefully improve performance of the application. Okay, and with that, we're going to need to make sure once we unlock the focus, we've got the preview running again, we've got to make sure we're setting up a repeating request for our preview. And that will happen in the unlock focus method. So let's go to unlock focus. And at the moment, this is for a single capture, that needs to be changed to set repeating request as such. Okay, and I've just got one final bit to tidy up. We don't need the UI handler and the capture still image here now. 
because this was just used to swap the adapter. That's now happening in a different part of the code. So we can delete this line here. And down here, for the capture session, we just set that to null, just to the current thread, which will be running in the background thread. So this needs to be changed to null as such. Okay, so I believe these are all the changes we need to make. Okay, let's try running this and see what happens. Application is now started. Let me record it so you can see what's happening. Okay, let's see if I can hold the camera steady so we get focus. And there we have it there. We've got focus. Okay, so that was a number of features exposed by the Nexus 5X that were hopefully resolved. So it shows you how you can use different devices can um, expose um, sometimes hidden flaws in your software. So that's it for this tutorial. If you want to get notified of my tutorials and you haven't subscribed already, click on that subscribe button. And surrounding me is my social media um, account, so you can follow me on Twitter, you can pin me on Pinterest, you can like me on Facebook, and um, drop a note on Google+. And directly above me is my website, so that's where all the information goes together. It's got the details on GitHub where you can download the code, um, brief explanations of all the code changes and etc. All the information gets put into one place, so that's a very good reference to visit as well. Anyway, that's it for this one. Bye for now.